Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. The hateful left threatening the peaceful right. Yep. And tell me that gun-free zones don't work. Shocking. Let's talk about that. Today's episode is brought to you by all of you patriots. Every thumbs up is a huge help. Got a huge subscriber giveaway coming up to give back to y'all coming up tomorrow. But I just want to say thanks to each of y'all. Again, every thumbs up is a help. All the subscribes are a help. Even the comments down below, they're all a help. And I wanted to say thanks. I'll go through a quarantine with y'all any day. Hey, this subscriber giveaway, not everybody's into giveaways, but I'm into having fun. I wanted to do a huge give back to all of y'all. It's coming up tomorrow. It's going to be all weekend long. Giving away a boatload of stuff thanks to shoutnotcomply.com. You can tell I've already shot my voice. I've got water here. I've already shot my voice. I filmed a couple different videos today. I am done. I bit my lip to the point of blood a few minutes ago. I'm getting through this one no matter what. Shout out Comply in conjunction with High Point Firearms. Giving away a High Point tomorrow or over the weekend. And that's really, really cool. So they've supplied that. And then Shout Out Comply has got a whole boatload of stuff. They're giving away a lot of gun parts. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. They're all upstairs on the table. Just got them in like 30 minutes ago. It's really, really going to be cool. Restocks are also in. Y'all have bought them out of everything twice. These are now restocked and the No Step on Snakes are also restocked. And then tomorrow there's two new ones coming out. It's all fantastic. I've seen them and I think I'm getting a couple of the new ones myself. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, not everybody's into giveaways, but I want to give back to y'all. So I've been working on this for about a month. So a big thank you to High Point Firearms and a big thank you to shoutnotcomply.com. I'll put a link down below so y'all can find these. And a big thank you to all of y'all. All right, let's go up to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Over the last week, some protesters have gone and stood at the state house, shoulder to shoulder, to stand, like I said last night, in opposition to their government, to say we are in opposition to you. We do not agree with where you are, and we are here to show you that. Makes me want to go grab some tea and throw it in the harbor. And there was a little bit of uh, controversy about that. Some of the guys went kitted up. Some of the guys had their, had their firearms strapped to them, as is their right. And there was a nitwit that came out, a radical leftist, shocking, came out. And she was mad because they weren't wearing face masks. Imagine the audacity in 2020 not to wear a face mask. All right, the incident took place in, the protest took place in Harrisburg. But then Dr. Jennifer Rager K from Sellers Grove, PA. She is a doctor as well as a member of the school board. And she came out and she made a post about those men and women not wearing masks. I won't read the whole thing, but here's a quote from it. This is the last paragraph of it. She is speaking of herself. She does have a concealed carry permit, at least she professes to. And she says this quote, as a concealed carry permitted gun owner, if you refuse to wear a mask and try to come within six feet of my family, I will exercise the same constitutional rights to shoot you. Close quote. And there we have the tolerant left. You're not wearing a face mask and she's literally threatening. And this is literal. I went through this a little bit in my heart today. I read a bunch on it. Okay, was she, was it hyperbole? Was she just, oh no, no. She has doubled down on what she is saying. She knows exactly what she is saying. Her and her Karen haircut, she wants to speak to the manager. She's a school board director, but she also recently ran for the state district 85 seat. And she was supported. She ran, of course, on the Democratic ticket. And she was supported by the Orange Wave, a bunch of communists. And was also supported, this is the big one, by Moms Demand Action. She was their pick for the board. And she ran on an anti-gun platform. And now she's threatening gun violence. This is not good, y'all. The local media, of course, in Sellersburg jumped on it and they tried to make it into a right-wing issue and they're like, local gun radical threatens violence. And then people, yeah, people just jumped all over them. Like, you cannot call this woman a right-wing conservative. That's not how it works, people. Of course the media tries to defend their own. And it all came out and people, you know, it's, it's gotten a little bit of attention and it's, it's kind of gotten stirred up from there. She came out today and said, she being doc, Dr. Jennifer, she said that, that, that her post on Facebook was described as hateful. 
You can't make this stuff up is why my voice is shot. You can't make this stuff up. She said that her post was described as hateful. Yeah, threatening, threatening, just threatening people's lives. Yeah, it's slightly hateful. She also, this is fantastic. Oh, this is fantastic. The hypocrisy of the left. She also has been seen on Facebook in recent days, recent days, I think two days before that post that she posted there, on Facebook, in her own photos, outside, in public, not wearing a face mask. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, since then, you know, she's a school board director. She has now resigned as of today. She has resigned her position and her husband, who's also rolling in on the, on the county dime. He is a public defender for Snyder County. He has resigned that position as well. So husband and wife kind of wife. She didn't take his entire name. She kept half of her name. But what do I know? Who am I to judge? Both of them have resigned their county or their school board and the county positions. He's still running a private law firm. She's still a medical doctor. So I think they're still able to eat and feed their family, which I do want. I mean, we're Americans. I hope people can feed their families. However, this is something we all need to watch and pay attention to. Links down below to that story. I want to end that story by saying liberalism is a disease. Care for y'all. It's a disease, and I'm, I do mean that. All right, here's the next one I do want to talk about, and I don't want to mention anything by name. Bad situation yesterday in Arizona at the Westgate Mall. I am not mentioning that guy's name. Y'all know what he did. There were this many that were, were injured. I'm not even going to go through it. Uh, YouTube doesn't like those words being put in there. Plus, I don't want to give that guy any credit whatsoever. Westgate Mall, bad situation, like terrible situation. Speedy recovery to those that were injured, like really, really mean that. Glendale, Arizona. Here's what we have found out since then. Gun-free zone. My question is how? How did this take place? I mean, a little tongue-in-cheek there, and I don't want to minimize those folks that are in the hospital recovering, but my, for real, how does this even happen? There was a sign out front. I'll put up, a, I got a screenshot here of the actual ordinance from the Westgate Mall. How did this happen? They had a gun-free zone. Yeah, this is what happens in 2020. People put up those signs, they have those ordinances, and then the good guys who are carrying and trained and are there to help and to protect and to save lives, they're the ones that get neutered. It's a crazy world out there. Now, we need to watch this one, here's why. I don't want to just, you know, so ha, 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 gun-free zones don't work. Yeah, they don't, by the way. But I also want to say, and because this is happening in real time, watch and see there's probably going to be legislation that comes out next week. They're going to try to, to ride this tragedy, never let a tragedy go to waste. It's going to be a mess. We need to watch it, and we need to watch it closely because all of this matters. And to all of the nitwits out there, the Moms Demand Action Crew, or the Karens folks, the Karens out there that want to, you know, disarm us and yet still threaten our lives, yeah, from my cold, dead hands.